An accused double murderer and gang member has had special charges dropped against him as part of the L.A. D.A. George Gascon's new reforms. Yeah, now the families of those victims are outraged and speaking with our Bill Malusian. Bobby was uh, a really good kid. He was my best friend. Bob Ryan and his son Bobby did everything together. They fished. They went to Angels games. They had a father-son bond full of smiles. 18-year-old Jacob Dominguez had dreams of joining the military and had his own special bond with his grandmother. We had such a good relationship, and I thank God that we told each other on a regular basis, I love you. But both young men had their lives cut short on December 11th, 2017. That's when gang member Raymond Gonzalez, AKA Danger, is accused of murdering them at his home in Baldwin Park. It was after Bobby had gotten a car insurance payout after a crash and he had $4,000 cash on him. This gang member knew he had this money, lured him to the house. They had a weapon hidden in the dryer. The two boys went into the house the gang member went to the dryer, got the weapon, shot both boys in the head, and then emptied his revolver into my son's torso. Gonzalez then allegedly wrapped the bodies in curtains, carjacked a van, and drove up to Victorville, where he dumped them in the desert. He was later charged for the murders months later while already in jail. And he was already in custody for another crime when he got arrested for my son and Jacob's murder. Both families were stunned when at a January 19th hearing last week, the judge agreed to drop gang enhancements and special circumstances against Gonzalez in accordance with DA George Gascon's new reforms. The dropping of those special circumstances takes life without parole off the table and will make Gonzalez eligible for a parole hearing after 20 years in prison, even if he is convicted of the two murders. When I heard of the special enhancement being removed, I was devastated. It was as though George Gascon had spit in my face and punched me right straight in the stomach and knocked the wind out of me. In a statement to Fox 11 tonight, a special advisor to George Gascon said, quote, the new special directives put forward by District Attorney Gascon not only enhance public safety and increase equity, they also put victims first. By moving toward a more objective and data-driven approach when making our decisions, our system will get better results and prevent future victimization. Although some victims may disagree, the majority of victims very much favor these reforms. We respect everyone's candor and will provide every victim all available services afforded to them under the law. Mr. Gascon's office told me tonight that his policies put victims first. I'd like your response to that. No, that's a lie. That's not true. And I can say that face to face to face to him. I say that is totally wrong. Mr. Gascon seems to care a lot more for the criminals than he does for us victims. There isn't a day that goes by that we don't think of Jacob. He would have jumped at the chance to be become a Marine. Oh, every morning when I wake up, I first thought in my mind is my son. Every night before I go to bed, the last thought is my son. And I'm scared and I think about how his last moments and life must have been with this gang member shooting both of them right there and blowing them away. It had to be a terrifying, terrifying experience. And George Gascon's office has told us just because somebody gets a parole hearing does not mean they're going to be released. They say it only happens about 15% of the time, but Gascon's critics say that number is going to go up because George Gascon does not allow his prosecutors to attend those parole hearings. In West L.A., Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.